In 1992, Boeing and Lockheed received contracts to determine the most suitable existing aircraft for an airborne laser. This plane will essentially allow air forces to use powerful lasers and guidance systems to detect enemy ballistic missiles at a distance of hundreds of kilometers. Now both teams came to the same conclusion and recommended that the Air Force should use the Boeing 747 as a platform. The cost of developing a new weapon system was estimated at $1.6 billion, and a few years later, Boeing received an order for the first 747 aircraft for ABL. The assembly of the first 747 freighter for ABL was started, and four months later, the plane was rolled out, featuring a fixed hatch and a strengthened fuselage. The following months, the plane was to go through a rigorous flight test program to ensure that the plane met the requirements of Boeing and also the very strict requirements of the Air Force. Now, the first successful test was done in 2010. Two ballistic missiles were used as a target, a solid fuel and liquid. Installed on the plane, it was a laser gun that worked in three stages. Initially, infrared sensors detected a rocket at speed dialing. Then a laser was aimed at the target and estimated the state of the atmosphere. The main laser with a power of 1 megawatt was used to destroy the rocket. In total, the operation to destroy the first missile took about 2 minutes. The second goal was to shoot down the missile in the same scenario an hour later. However, both of these tests failed. Now, the plan was for a group of YAL-1 planes to remain in flight for a long period of time and fly to the launch sites of any potential enemy missiles. Now, when the missiles were in boost phase, the plane would lock onto their heat signature and then fire its chemical laser to destroy the missile or at least damage it at high speed so that the missile would break. At least that was the plan anyway. The reality was is that the plane had to be much closer to its target than originally anticipated and either the conditions in the atmosphere or enemy hardening missiles could reduce its range. In the end, the YAL-1 project was deemed a failure and a very costly one. Now, although the plane achieved a few good results during its testing, the overall project was too expensive. For this reason, funding was cut in 2010 and the program was cancelled in December 2011. The laser development program was conducted for 16 years and the volume of its financing, according to various estimates, was from 7 to 13 billion dollars. And according to the Pentagon, the ABL program was closed due to high cost, low practicality of the technologies created and the need to cut down defense spending. So on February 14, 2012, the Boeing YAL-1 made its last flight. After that, the plane was dismantled for equipment and the 747 ABL went to the Aircraft Cemetery or simply known as the Boneyard.